Right then guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. We are back for another Newcastle United video. So much football going on over the Christmas period. Today we are back at St James's Park taking on Everton. Uh, obviously the last time we played at St James's Park we beat Crystal Palace 1-0, just. Then we went to Old Trafford on Boxing Day, lost 4-1. I mean, it was always going to be a tough game. Matty Longstaff scored. Matty Longstaff has scored in both of his games against Manchester United, so that was one good thing to come out of it. But obviously it was a tough game. And now, as I say, we are back at home against Everton. Our home form, believe it or not, has actually been pretty good. So, quietly confident maybe for this one. Obviously the, the downside of it is that Everton were having a terrible time. Duncan Ferguson's picked them up. Uh, and then Ancelotti's come in, and they won their game on Boxing Day as well. So, as I say, quietly hoping, confident that we might grab something today, but at the same time realise that they've kind of come out of their slump and are, are on the way up. So, I don't think it's going to be easy. We made a lot of changes for the Man U game, so it'll be interesting to see how many of those players keep their place or how many changes we make for this game, but... As I say, we've had a lot of games at the minute. Home form is all right. Hoping we might get the win. If you're at the game of the day, let me know what you thought of it down below. As always, I'm trying to head off relatively early, grab a drink beforehand, and let's hope we can get three points. Here we go, line ups are out. As expected, there's been a lot of changes in the team, hopefully for the better. Um, Shelby's back in, hopefully he can make a big difference. Carroll up top, Joel Linton's playing, Willems is back in. Obviously still no St Max, which is, it's, it's not good, but you know, you've know got to hope that Shelby's going to do something today. Carroll, I think, is a big threat up front for us today. Let's hope we're going to have a different result to the last game. Free kick straight into the wall. Bounces straight back out. And one of the Everton players slams it in the net. Oh, so frustrating. 13 minutes gone. 1 0 Everton. Here's me big enough how well we've been at home as well. We're going to have to fight back now. Find the pass, Williams! Finish on me, Ron! My God! Yeah, he's making this like Yeah, he's checking. Why don't they just put it on the screen straight away? It's not looking good. What is his hand? Offside. Palmiron, put it in the net. What does it mean when the refs? God, half an hour gone. Uh, Everton have had all the ball. That's our first attack since they've scored. Come on, lads! Stick it in. 
Danny Carroll. Put it in! They had so much of the ball. The last 15 minutes we've looked good, we've had a lot of chances. Has to be. Has to be on the run. Oh. Oh my god. So little in the middle. He's just he's had a go. I mean he's having these through, he's got a I don't blame him for shooting, but God, you've got to hit the target man. I never well. That's half time, 1 0 down. Oh. After they scored, <laughs> they dominated for a good 15 minutes. But I would actually say the last 15, 20, have been in our favour. We've had quite a few shots. We had one that hit the post. Andy Carroll's goal was offside. 1 0 half time. We can't come back from this. If we can play the second half like we did the last 15 minutes of the first half. I see no reason why we can't get back into it, but it ain't gonna be easy, I can tell you that. Get in! That's what we needed! Bobby and Shaw sticks it in the net! <laughs> yes! Corner comes over. Headed down by Andy C. Bobby and Shaw! Get in! 1-1, one, one. that's why I asked for. Come on! Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> Ever heard of just scored? Offside flag is up. Oh, uh, hopefully VAR. Let's <laughs> hope to Christ that VAR doesn't send it the other way. We're all waiting. I'm sure it's fine. Still 1-1. Oh. We're on the high press. The crowd's going wild for it. And then literally like that. One through ball, Rich Allenson down the wing. Crosses it over. I think it's Calvert Lewin's put it in the back of the net. Been on a high for about 10 minutes and then. That's 2 1 Everton. Double sub. Atu and Gil both coming on. And the June's off. It looks like we've gone 4 4 2. Let's hope it works. Well, there you go. 2 1 loss. I don't want to say really. It was an absolute mess at the end. Steve Bruce tried to bring extra players on. He brought on Atu, he brought on Gale. We were very low at the back by the end, but I don't think the players knew what they were doing when it came down to it. I just think we were just throwing people forward to try and grab a goal. Um, do I blame him for trying it? No. Because I think we all criticised Rafa last season for not changing things when we needed a goal, so. I think we had to go for it, but just when we made those changes, it just didn't work. We looked lost. I actually think we had not a bad stop. Like we, did, we didn't play badly in the second half. I don't think. I don't think Everton were miles ahead of us today. I think chances created wise, it was probably 50-50. It was just when it got down to the nitty gritty in the last 15-20 minutes. They were solid defensively and we just couldn't get through them. Um, I said in the last video, if we didn't get any points against Crystal Palace, it was going to be a tough Christmas period. Thank God we got points against Crystal Palace, losing the man you away. We knew it was going to be tough today. Douglas Ferguson's got this team rocking and rolling, and then Ancelotti's complimented it as well. So it was going to be tough, but that is the end too. What has been a pretty decent home run for us this season. Let's just hope New Year's Day against Leicester 
we can get back to I mean Leicester are doing so well at the minute a draw a win anything but a loss I'll take in the new year but have a good one have a good new year thank you for watching and I'll catch you later